This is a bit of an unusual problem. You're asked to estimate the average speed in meters per second with which hair on your head grows. Now, normally you don't think about speed when you're thinking about growth of hair, but it really, it does. It grows a certain amount of distance in a certain amount of time, and we can certainly convert that to meters per second, so it's a reasonable problem. And a preparation is going to consist of a couple of pieces. First off, we need to think about this. We're going to make an estimate from the experience of how often you cut your hair and how often you trim. That's how we're going to start. Well, in my case, I trim my hair about once every year. And if you've ever seen me in the pre-lecture videos, that won't come as a huge surprise. So it's about once per year. And in one year, my hair grows about eight inches. And I'm just guessing by how much the length of the hair that's on the floor when everything is said and done. That's about right. So the speed of the growth of my hair is eight inches per year. But that's not the unit of speed that we want. It's a distance divided by a time, but we want to put it in meters per second. So we're going to have to do some conversions. And the conversions we'll do is this. An inch is 2.54 centimeters, okay? One year is equal to 365 days, okay? One day is equal to 24 hours, and one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. So with these conversions in hand, um, we'll be able to make the conversion from a speed in inches per year into a speed in meters per second. That's going to be our solution. Now let's go ahead and do this. And the way we'll work it out is like this. We're going to start with the number that we wrote down previously, 8 inches in one year. And then we multiply by successive, by successive factors, which are factors of 1. Okay, 1 inch is 2.54 centimeters. I want to cancel inches and end up with centimeters, so I'll do this. I'll multiply by 2.54 centimeters divided by 1 inch. Well, these are equal to each other, and so this expression is just equal to 1, but I cancel inches, and I'm left with centimeters. One year, which I want to cancel, is equal to 365 days. One day is equal to 24 hours. And one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. The only other thing we need to do is this. We need to convert centimeters to meters. And a centimeter There's a hundred centimeters in one meter, okay? So we have a series of factors that we can multiply by, and we'll multiply all those factors times our original speed, and now we'll convert the units from inches per year into meters per second. And if we complete that, we get 8 times 10 to negative 8 meters per second. And since this was a one significant figure estimate, the eight inches, it's not, I mean, it might be nine, it might be seven. This is a one significant figure estimate. So it's only correct to give our answer to one significant figure. That's another piece of the puzzle that we need to consider. Eight times 78 meters per second, or if I want to write this in microns, it's 0 0.08 microns or micrometers per second. Okay, that's the speed that we're looking at. Now let's do an assessment. Okay, think about this. If I told you that you had a car that moved a distance of eight inches over a time of one year, you would estimate that that's a very, very slow speed. So we expect this to be a tiny number. And in fact, that's what we found. And so our assessment is that our answer matches the way that we know the world works.